Hi everyone, today's FAQ video is going to be on conditional statements. These are if-else statements. There is also something called a case statement, but we're going to stick to if-else statements just for simplicity. Now the idea behind an if-else statement is it allows you to run different blocks of code based off of what somebody says or a particular something happening or not happening. So let's say, for example, um, I wanted to create a shell script for Kaylee. So I can start from the beginning and I want to make sure that I change my permissions. And then I'm actually going to rename this script so you get to see a rename. so that I know that it's a script. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to go into the script and I will start with my shebang line as always. So we know that Kaylee is a mechanic. So what we're going to do is have a conversation about mechanics. So we're going to ask do you want to hear about Serenity's engine? And then we read in the answer. Now remember, with shell scripting, we don't have typed variables, we have untyped variables. So I don't need to say character, string, anything like that. I just create a variable. It's a box to hold some stuff and I can call that whatever I want. So in this case I'm going to call it answer. Now what I'd like to do is based off the answer, I assume the answer is either going to be yes or something else. So I'm going to say if answer equals yes, then echo great, else, um, let's see, we'll echo too bad, I'm going to tell you anyway but now you owe me a strawberry. Now, this is obviously more entitled than Kaylee, but you know, I'm doing this live. So what's gonna happen here is we're going to have the question, do you want to hear about Serenity's engine? We'll read in the answer. If the answer is yes, it's going to say great. Else, it's going to say too bad, I'm going to tell you anyway. At the end of this, I'm going to have an FI. Now, a couple things to note. The required pieces are this kind of ugly mustardy brown color. To have an if statement, you have to say if, then. I always recommend including an else conditional. And then to end it, you always have the FI. Your condition wants to live in these square brackets. If or elifs have conditions, else's do not. And the other thing that I did here that was a little odd was I included double quotes. Now the point behind the double quotes is so that if they put in two words, say no, 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 yes, so multiple spaces in there, it will still read that as one singular variable contents and match it to this variable contents. So let us save and quit and then see how this goes. So do you want to hear about Serenity's engine? Yes. Great. Other option. Do you want to hear about Serenity's engine? Literally anything else. And it will tell you anyway. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted to add a little bit more to this. I can actually include something called an elif. So if I include an elif or else if, I can include a, another condition. So in this case, I can say if the answer 
equals um, no. Then I can say, ah, oh, that's sad. I love talking about serenity. So now what's going to happen is I have an if condition, if the answer is yes. I have an elif condition, if the answer is no. And then I have an else. So if you say anything besides yes or no, we're going to hit the else. So now I can see that when I run this, I can say yes. I can say no. I can say anything else, and I have all of these options. Now, with if statements, I can also do something called a nested if statement. A nested if statement is where I can have an if statement within another if statement. So in this example here, I'm going to have another if statement under yes. Now, the important thing about nested if statements is the if statement that's the nest is only going to get hit if the answer is yes. So in this case, great, we can then say echo, do you want to hear about the compressor or the fuel pump? Then I will read in my second answer. And then now, you'll notice I'm doing something with tabbing here. This is not required, but it does make it a little bit more legible, so it is worth thinking about doing. So if answer two equals compressor, then I'm going to say blah, 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 compressor. Clearly I know nothing about spaceship engines. Now I need to make sure that I have an else in here as well. So then I can say echo blah, 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 fuel pump. And then I can end it. Now you'll notice the if, then, else, fi is the same. The difference is that I've put it within this if statement. By doing these tab overs, it gives me the ability to see much more clearly that I have if, then, else, and fi, so I don't have to worry about any of the problems. And I can also see that this is nested because every if has to match with an fi. So this if is going to match with the other fi at the bottom. So now what's going to happen when we run this is if we say yes, we should get another option. So we can see that the only way to get to this particular option is to say yes. And you can see that even though fuel pump is two words, it was still able to read it because of the way that I did the quotes here. So because I have a quote around the variable and a quote around this, it's able to read it as one single sort of lump so it's not going to get confused. Now you'll notice that this didn't make any changes to the other pieces. So if I say no, nothing changed there. If I say anything other than yes or no, nothing is going to change there either. The only time that you'll hit this nested portion is if I say yes. Please let me know if you have any questions.